And now for the story of Sunday, the final day of Dollars in Plus New York. So sad that it's over. Um, after a really bad sleep because we stayed up so late the night before at room sales and we were up all day for Saturday, it was really hard to wake up for, on Sunday morning for a contest that started at 9 a.m. But we made it. We got there, we picked up our dolls from the masquerade the day before, and we headed over to the tiny triathlon, which was the only thing that we really wanted to do on the Sunday. So I, my, myself, um, Fate, and Kira were all, um, were all registered in the tiny triathlon. And our other two friends um, came later and they watched and ended up doing some of the judging as well. Um, because random people got chosen to judging, pretty much. <laughs> um, and I loved the tiny triathlon. It was fantastic. I brought Blair, because she's my lucky contest doll, to be in the contest. Um, and it, it ran just like a really quick, really squished down version of the triathlon that DOA puts out every year. So this triathlon consisted of three parts. This is a triathlon, duh. So part one uh, was mysterious. Um, Armelia from Den of Angels was in charge. And she basically told us we had to go up to the front and pick one piece of tissue paper, which was all sorts of colors, and one piece of wrapping paper that was cut into different sizes. So you could pick small, medium, or large. And she told us that there were advantages and disadvantages to having each size. So it was up to us to decide what we wanted to get. So I went up last. I was like one of the last people. Actually, I think I was the last person to pick my materials. Uh, there were no medium-sized papers left, so I picked a small. And thank goodness for that. Uh, and I picked, so they were all red wrapping paper, and then I picked a blue piece of tissue to go with it. Um, and when we sat down, we were told that we had an hour to create an outfit using our two pieces of, um, two pieces of paper. And today we were also given a pair of scissors and some tape. And so we had one hour to create an outfit, but we had to use the entirety of both pieces. So if you had a really big paper and you had a USD, you had to use all of it anyway. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. You had to use all of it. So we had an hour to create our outfits, and I was literally down to the last minute shoving um, pieces of paper together and... Um, it was really, really fun and really challenging to get all of that paper used up. Um, we were also put into teams. So I was sitting next to Funny Lori, and she's a total sweetheart. And she did really awesome with her contest entry, too. And so did all of my friends. Um, and I took a video of all the entries. It was really sad because we had to kind of rush it. So the first round was the only round that I was able to get everyone's entries in. Um, so I have a video that I'm going to shove in here that shows all the contest entries from round one, and you'll be able to see how completely amazing they were. That's in a video. <laughs> <laughs> so is that. <laughs> Apparently needed the hose. Are you okay? She's good. Okay. Right, I'm just walking I'm behind so you. Good. She's good. So I can, uh. <laughs> this is just. She has a bustle in there. Very cool. They have numbers. That's me. Yo. What's up? Very hungry hockey pillows. I can't quite get. At the front later, they're judging. Oh, yeah. Scary stuff is happening. Yeah, I get the, the full caterpillar effect there. Mm 
Yeah, is it like the most obscure place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, this is where I'm just... Oh, that's the stand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't stand good on this side. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> stick it out really cute. Cute. I know. You're cool. As you can see, everyone's entries were amazing and the competition was really tough. Um, as soon as I got those videos done, we basically had to really, really carefully cut the outfits off of our dolls, um, preserving them as best we could, and we put the pieces up at the front for um, the third round of the contest. And in the meantime, uh, the round two was announced. So the second round um, theme was a teamwork theme. Uh, a teamwork photography theme. So uh, we had to, with the people at our table, so for me, we were the only two-person team. It was Funny Lori and I. And we had to create a movie scene using the contents of our doll bags. So we could only use what we had with us, and we had to create a scene from a movie, photograph it, and the photograph was judged. So it was a kind of a no-brainer for us because I just picked up my doll, who was dressed up as a Slytherin, from Harry Potter. So we did a scene from Harry Potter and it was funny Lori's idea to do um, Professor Umbridge's office because my bag was really flower print so we used it as the the background and we cut up a bunch of, of pictures from the Dollism Plus manual to use as photographs on her wall and so my doll was Umbridge and her doll was Harry Potter writing his lines I will not tell lies and it turned out really cute and she was really sweet and she emailed me the photograph so I'll throw it in here and other people did different things like Wizard of Oz there was this scene from Kiki's Delivery Service and I unfortunately didn't get to see them all um, because we quickly had to take them down to move on to the last round and the final round was to take um, we were given a number and we got someone else's materials from the first round so someone else's cut up outfit that had been carefully preserved and we had to create a headpiece out of it. Now I was kind of upset about how this ended up for me because I got an outfit um, from a contestant who actually hadn't used all of his materials. He barely used his, pa um, his tissue paper at all and somehow they didn't disqualify him. I couldn't really understand that um, but they barely, they didn't even really use their tissue paper, so I didn't have a lot to work with. Um, I, you had to preserve some piece of the outfit and then say what, what you uh, changed and what you preserved. Um, the person that had my dress basically flipped it inside out and um, put it on their doll's head. So, and it looked cool. It looked like a fish hat or something. But um, I had a rough time with mine um, because there wasn't very much tissue paper. It was mostly just the red wrapping paper. So I didn't love my hat, um, but I'll still show you a picture of it. This is, this is it. Um, and so after that, I didn't get a chance to take a video of those either because um, we had to, to leave really soon after. We were kicked out. We were pushed away from our entries while the judges did the final judging. Um, the first place prize was a large doll chateau doll. The second place was a uh, mascot Bellina. And the third place was a doll family, a 112th Ning Ning. So they announced the prizes, and congratulations to Ampa Caro, um, who won first place and won the doll chateau. Um, the sweet girl that uh, I talked to a lot at the convention, um, named Jacqueline, she won the second place prize, she won the Bellina, so congratulations to her. And congratulations to myself for winning third place. Yes, I won two dolls this convention. Here is the doll family A Ning Ning, who I am actually hoping to use as a mod project because I don't really like his eye shape and also I'm creeped out by his little peen. It's weird. So I'm thinking of getting that sanded off Remodding up his eyes and doing something with him, um, maybe giving him to my boyfriend as his first doll. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna do something interesting with him. So uh, he's bald and has no eyes and no clothes. So there's that. But uh, 
yes, I've got, even though, like, I'm not super sold on him yet, I'm definitely going to do something interesting with him, so. So, it's not going to go, this prize is not going to go to waste. I promise that. So, yeah, after the contest, um, we just took a little, another little walk around in the vendor room. There were no more room sales since everyone had to check out of their rooms, obviously. And basically, we just headed home right after that. We got some lunch, whatever. And then we went back to my friend's house and we just took a look at all of our dolls before the end and took photos of them. And, and then we finished up and I came back to Canada. <laughs> and I didn't get any problems with the border, so that was really good. Um... So yeah, that was the whole weekend. It was such a fun, fun time. Um, you have no idea. Well, maybe you do now that you've seen uh, everything that I did. It was really just absolutely fantastic. I had a great time and I met so many really nice people. And it was just such, so good. It was so good. And I got to hang out with all my friends that I already knew and they were all awesome still. They hadn't become less awesome. <laughs> so... Uh, it was just a fabulous, fabulous time, and if they do dollism next year, I'll definitely want to attend again, and I hope everyone else can come too. There's rumors circulating already about dollism, perhaps in Michigan next time. I don't know. I just heard it through the grapevine. Uh, so, no, I, no, no real ideas on that, but um, if, it, if it is in Michigan, I'll definitely drive out there. I used to live across the border from Detroit. Um, so that definitely wouldn't be a problem. And I would also really like to stay in a hotel next time to do the room sales because uh, I think that that would be really fun to have a room sale set up. So yeah, thank you so much for following this dollism adventure. I hope that you uh, were not bored out of your mind and I hope that some of my videos were useful to you and that you were able to see all the fun things that they offered and hopefully you'll be there next time if you weren't already and hopefully if you were there uh, I didn't miss anything so let me know if I did um, and give me ideas for my new dolls if you have any if you have any ideas for an interesting mod for my Ning Ning please let me know it's gonna be cool thank you guys so much um, I don't know what to do with myself now <laughs> I have to go back into the swing of things. So I'm going to go work on school. And I have work all the rest of the week. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for watching guys. You're awesome. Thank you all the new subscribers. I've been getting a few here and there. You're all the best. I love you. Take care. <laughs> Bye.